roosters, roosters. So who here is a rooster? You survived 2015, yay. The roosters got the living feathers ripped off of them last year. Um, they did. It was a hard year for the roosters last year. Oh my God, I felt so bad given this information last year. But good news is here. So it's going to be a great year for the roosters this year. They're going to be one of, they are one of the most fortunate animals in the Zodiac in 2016. They have a very powerful energy called the Sun Star. Again, that's interchangeable with energy. Um, not, so yeah, it is kind of like the sun. You have like the sun, which dissolves all obstacles. It's kind of nice, right? So that's one of the things that you can look at that if you've got some problems that are laying over or rolling over into 15, just know that they're gonna start really just putting themselves even in order, which is nice. Lots of opportunities for you to be looking at. So I want you to start like looking for the opportunities that are going to start coming your way. There's going to be new business ventures, new career paths. You might even have the opportunity to completely change something that's happening in your life. Again, depending on where it shows up in your chart, you might get a new set of friends. You might start a new career. You might get a new boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, whatever. You might have, you know, some some different ways of, you know, using your money. Depending on which pillar it shows up in, that's how it's going to affect your chart. And let's see, what else? You're going to be surrounded by a lot of people. Now, roosters in general... Um, let's, let's take it to the, the, the chicken coop. How many roosters do we like in the chicken coop? What happens when we have more than one? Right. <laughs> so if you have more than one rooster in your chart, that's what's kind of happening in your life. You have this sort of inner conflict that is happening. So we have a couple animals that are like that, that have, uh, that have this um, energy that is sort of, we call self-sabotaging, self-punishment. You know that you're not supposed to do something, but you do it anyway. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll take um, eating, you know, like I know, my nutritionist told me, and I shouldn't be eating gluten, but ah, sometimes I want that cookie, you know? Okay, and then I have the inflammation. So I know I'm not supposed to do it, but I do it anyway. Well, if you have that energy in your chart where you have these double roosters in your chart, it's going to be easier to have the, the devil and the angel kind of on your side, to like, go ahead and eat it, go ahead. <laughs> so it's like it, it kind of breaks you down. It doesn't give you as much willpower, if you will, to get things done. So you, you have to kind of keep that in mind as well. But overall, you are going to be sitting pretty, pretty, pretty in 2016. Um, the yin metal, the yin metal in the rooster, it's pure yin metal. It's one of the cardinal signs, if you will. So they're pure. And basically... We have yin metal and we have yang metal of the fire monkey. So the, those two metals, they actually don't really get along too well because yang metal is like, oh, the big sword. It's the big armor. It's, you know, the big tough guy. So think of like me in an armor. And then yin metal over here is, I'm, I, you know, really, I, I really don't want to lift that weight over there or you know I know I, I just need to look pretty that's what that's what that's what you're supposed to I mean when you think about the rooster in the chicken coop I mean that's like hey look at me look at me <laughs> I mean it's a very beautiful animal if you look at those feathers they're gorgeous so that's what they do they just kind of strut around and look beautiful so there's a little bit of competition there so you might see that and you might see unfortunately some metal related accents which we're going to kind of see as a kind of a prevailing energy anyway in 2016, we are going to see quite a few metal related accidents, unfortunately. So for anybody, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of point out a few of them that are going to be stronger than others, but you, you kind of really want to watch where you're driving and 
walking and biking and all of that. Okay. The other thing is, because you're so attractive, we've got that Yang fire just making you look prettier than ever this year. So you're going to be in, you're going to be, there, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be flirting with you and just, just wanting to be around you because you're just so handsome or gorgeous. So that's something that you're going to have to watch out for because somebody's going to want to try to pull you into maybe a not so above the board relationship. And if you're a rooster, you're probably going to get caught. So watch it. <laughs> um, you also want to watch your household belongings, uh, documents especially, that you're not misplacing them. So that's something that's going to be happening with the uh, roosters. Uh, as far as wealth is concerned, um, it, it's so, so gained, but heck of a lot better than it was last year. So you're going to do fine um, as far as wealth compared to last year, if you will. But do expect a wider reach. Again, you have a lot of people that are looking at you, and so you're going to have a good capacity to expand your business. So I would brush up on your marketing plan, your image, brand, new business card, whatever that may be. You may want to think about this is the year that you're going to want to do that so your full potential is actually seen because you will be in the limelight, so you might as well make the best of it, right? Um, relationship, you have that sun star in your chart. So um, I think that you're going to shine as, as well. So if you have that rooster in your relationship pillar especially, you will probably do much better um, in, a, in the partnership relationship piece of it. But if you are, um, if it's in like your career, then it would be, you know, better relationships with your staff and things like that. So you might want to, like I said, just, you know, Go, go for the makeover or the new suit or whatever that might be. Good year for health for the roosters. Um, you know, always good to do a preventative care, obviously. But overall, um, roosters have a nice, a nice chance at a pretty even health um, this year. So one of the questions that starts coming up, well, wait, I have a rooster and then I have a monkey. And like, what, what happens there? You get a little bit of both, obviously, because you're made up of four of those pillars if you know all four your year, month, day, and hour. But so it depends on what it shows up, where it shows up, and what it's going to provide for you. Okay?